How do? Holly Wells and Jessica Chapman, bless. Two young girls, 20 years ago this week, murdered by Ian Huntley. His sidekick, Maxine Carr, would eventually be charged and prosecuted for perverting the course of justice and then later assisting an offender. The Soham murders, like I say, 20 years ago this week. Um, the word Soham, uh, it's a village, Cambridgeshire way, don't have a big population. Sadly, for me, you hear that word, you think of them two young lasses. And when you think of them two young lasses, people of a certain age, um, two smiling, pretty girls, Man United shirts, brutally murdered by Ian Huntley. The creature that is Ian Huntley. So, I never met Ian Huntley. Um, I have a very good friend who worked, loosely speaking, with Ian Huntley. Uh, I've worked with people like him. You know, uh, there used to be a documentary on called Touching Evil, and that, that's how I'll describe it. Excuse the train, guys. Come on, Stevie. Touching evil. You know, when I work with the likes of Mark Bridger for a long time, they get under your skin. Um, on reflection, you know, the, the level of sort of self-control or whatever. Because quite honestly, I just wanted to punch him in the face constantly. And that's what my mate said about Ian Huntley. So this guy was a school caretaker. Um, him and Maxine Carr, like I said, they immersed themselves into the investigation. They were interviewed by press. They spoke to the family of Holly and Jessica. Creatures. He eventually would be convicted. Um, I think initially got two life sentences and then that was commuted to a minimum of 40 years. Like I said, my mate um, said, just wants to punch him in the face. There is politics around these sort of prisoners, how they looked after. Huntley uh, tried to take his own life a few times. You know, should we have assisted suicide in prisons for people like him? You know, the sooner he leaves the planet, the better for me. He's been in and out of the press, which obviously is disturbing for the family over the years. Attempts on his own life uh, from other prisoners. Um, yeah, pretty much on constant obs. Someone watching him all the time. Again, back to my friend. You just want to punch him in the face, Sam. That's what I wanted to do. Every time I saw him, punch him in the face. No use to anyone. You know... The death penalty, I'm asked that a lot by you guys. Uh, people like Untley, yeah, definitely. Bang to rights, uh, guilty as charged. The death penalty, it's never coming back in this country. Um, but certainly, for the chosen few like him, yes, definitely. So, thoughts with the family and friends of them two girls. On to Maxine Carr. So Huntley, like I said, was um, a school caretaker. She was a teaching assistant. Perversing, perverting, sorry. Although perverse is, is a word you could use. Uh, perverting, of course, justice, assisting an offender. Yeah, this lass served no time at all. I'll never understand this. You can look at other cases where people have been involved maybe not done the murdering, but what she's done is assisted a serial killer. She did no time at all in prison, none. And guess what? When she come out, she was protected. She'll have had money spent on her that last. I think in the first two years she left prison, she was uh, located at something like 11 or 12 different addresses with police protection. Someone somewhere deemed 
that she would be protected, remain anonymous, new identity, the whole nine yards. Why? You know, why are we spending public money on her? Now, as far as I know, I might be wrong, there's only four people ever who've been given that privilege. There's her, um, and like I said, people or somebody obviously knows her whereabouts. Uh, the press aren't allowed to disclose it, you know. She's married now. Her partner apparently knows all about her pe past, but is besotted with her. She has her own family. Uh, she lives at some seaside town or whatever. She lives a normal life. Now, when people come out of prison, I've got no problem with people living a normal life, but she served no time. And like I said, she's been protected. So the other three, the other three, the two lads that killed little Jamie Bulger, bless him, yeah? So we've got two lads murdered, uh, you know, it's just terrible, murdered this young lad, Jamie Bulger. They were threats as kids, yeah? Our system, He's never going to learn. They should have firstly been treated as murderers and then secondly as kids. They served no time. Most of the time they were in care. I worked with a lad when I was in the private sector who worked in the care sector in a home where John Venables yeah, turned up. Horrible, horrible child. He says the things he used to say to people who work there when he got out, what he'd do to their children and the like. Terrible. They served no time and they were protected and they're still protected. We had one of them turn up at our jail. Somebody worked out who they were, flirting them off. We didn't want them. You know, probation, monitoring them. Yeah, keeping them out of prison when they should be banged up. It's wrong. The fourth person, Stevie, this way, kid. The fourth person. Now, when I write about this, I had no idea. Go back to the 60s. Mary Bell. Deeply, deeply disturbing story. This way, kidda. Mary Bell was a 10-year-old who killed a four-year-old and a three-year-old. She was a serial killer at 10. Got locked up for life, out or released from prison in her early 20s. These murders happened in the 60s. You know, I was born in 62, so a little bit before my time. But she was protected as well. Um, deeply disturbing. So as always, you know, the people we should remember, Holly Wells and Jessica Chapman. Again, bless the families and friends. Ian Huntley, may you rot in hell. I'm going to leave it there, guys. Uh, I've got another vlog for tomorrow, Saturday night. Um, Sunday, longer content. Yeah, all good in the hood. Uh, everyone who's bought me a brew cup of coffee much appreciated and thanks once again to the patreons 31,000 subscribers thanks for all my guests past and present anyone who's contributed uh and may you all have the best weekend possible parting shot as always i know some of you like you say are actually on these walks with me and stephen take care look after yourselves Thanks for coming, I'll see you there.